We're set Wait. for action. And it looks as though we are about to get underway. Two superstars lock up. Another exclusive matchup for Coliseum Video. They're ready to get down to business. Yes, I was impressed very much so by their attitude going into this match. They both said that they're going to give all their all. And uh, I'm certainly looking forward to that. Well, it boggles my mind and everybody else's mind too. Very cautious at first. They move in, collar and elbow. And boy, this crowd, they've been waiting for this encounter all night. We've got the power and skill. Yes, and this piece of foot too, don't forget that, because speed is a very, very important factor in this particular match. Doesn't he look confident? Oh. This is going to be some battle, I think, for Alfred Hayes. He certainly knows how to strike most effectively. He may be in for a rude awakening here. Oh. I don't know so much, though. He certainly knows what he's doing, Sean. Well, it's a very interesting style, meaning head-to-head -head here. Two very gifted superstars. And I think that uh, they are going to have to use every tactical, yes, their best vocabulary of wrestling moves. Yes, someone yeah. even in the book. And Lord Alfred Hayes, both superstars, very cautious at this point. They are indeed. One thing they've got to do, they've got to pace themselves. There's no getting on the outside and having a little respite for two or three minutes. You've got to be in there the whole time. And one of the most important keys to success is being able to pace yourself correctly. You know, both do their homework very, very thoroughly on their opposition. So obviously they've looked, reviewed tapes, probably Colosseum tapes at that, to see how each was fair. So we've got a great matchup here. Indeed we have. <laughs> <laughs> Took a long way to get there, but I think uh, we made our point. Absolutely. Well, I have a feeling that uh, this is one encounter that is going to get a bit wild. See Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Crane here. Special broadcast this evening, Your Lordship. The Armed Forces Network. Well, that's very kind of them. But I'm still sure that Bobby Heenan gets paid for it. Yeah, I was going to say it wasn't a charitable move, but huh? the brains were. And the gorilla's not far behind him, you know. He likes a few pence in the pocket to him. Yes. Oh, he never picks up a tag if you go out for him. <laughs> What a great match to him. As an exclusive encounter for Coliseum Video. And I know for a fact we are going to see some sparks in this battle. One! Yes, this is a plum of a match for Coliseum Video. They really have they really have excelled themselves with this exclusive. Surprise he wanted to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe there. We'd like to add this in a hurry. He certainly would. Oh. And after seeing the action we've seen so far, we're not going to actually say this is going to be a tremendous, exclusive matchup that is going to be included. Yes, I must echo those words, Sean. I don't always like to agree with you, but sometimes you don't get close to me. Alfred, uh, you arrived here earlier than I did, and I see you got some color to Yes, that was our one for it was very nice there. Well, it's going to be a perfect day because not only did you get out in the sun, but you're going to see some uh, great World Wrestling Federation action. Yes, that's very nice. But very nice. Brooks on the edge of their seats here. And there is a clear example of the skill in the, the ring. He's worked very hard, spent a lot of hours in the squared circle, just practicing, perfecting his moves. And it's certainly paying off. Absolutely, Sean, the execution of those moves would be strong together. Timing was great. All the balance was correct. Shows you how he has, in your words, improved. And not only skilled in wrestling moves, they're also very skilled at... Uh, Stretching the rules. Yes, yeah. sir. A little deviation from the rules there didn't hurt anybody really. A very, very sneaky, crafty wrestler. Sometimes with a very back turn, he will uh, use some very, very dubious things. He has uh, very quickly scaled the ranks. He's definitely our 
brought up is uh, one of the top contenders. I would have to go along with that, Sean, because definitely, not that I admire or uh, really like the way he behaves in the ring. You don't like his but as far as his skill, I'll go along with how you feel about superstars. Although it's telling me it's like, you have to think of their personal behavior. It's part of it. But when you just speak solely on skill, I would say he's definitely one of the best. Well, that's very gracious of you, and I'm sure that you'll have a few kind words to say to you. Sean. No, no, he never has a kind word to say. Oh, he doesn't? <laughs> well, he doesn't to me either, quite honestly. No, for that for sure. Very nasty demeanor. Yes, he is. He's a killer. He really is. You're not nice in the Sean, he really is a superb man. You have to admire him. Yes. Who has shown us a lot of skills over the past. He's a very powerful performer, a very, very gifted wrestler. But I certainly know that inside the ring, this man is a very, very aggressive performer. And he certainly has chalked up a remarkable list of victories. We have seen him in a very long time to know. Any time he can erupt. Ended encounter. Great angle. About as close as I'd like to get to the action. Yes. In this case. And look at that shot, Sean. Our cameraman taking us right in the ring there. You were talking about great angles before. That was another good one. He cannot be closer to the action than that in the World Wrestling Federation. And that is surely a coup for Coliseum uh, Video. This is an exclusive matchup for Coliseum Video. As Coliseum Video cameras bring us in close. Close as I've ever been. Yes, really. Boy, we have a good look at that. The battle continues. This capacity crowd is really getting an action-filled match here. And I, you know, Sean, I think the uh, the fans here are finding it difficult who to really favor in this match. I think they're quite evenly divided on the two. Well, both sides One, giving everything two. they've got. And you can see just the edges of fatigue sneaking in. But as far as the action goes, it's just as furious as when the bell first sounded. They probably have every young girl in here cheering for them. With the fair maidens. Fair maidens. There's only a fair maiden here once more. situation now using everything he's got i believe he's trying to step up the pace here i think he's found uh, maybe a faster pace is more to his liking a series of moves right there great great moves and counter moves and counter counter moves yes nicely explained alfred yes i don't think we're ever going to keep up with them do you sure only in slow motion i'm sure please you're calling the play here i can do it he never lets up. He certainly does. There's any opening, he goes right for it. Begins to dismantle. Yes. He is relentless. You're right, Sean. I like the choice of your word, it's there. Dismantle. And that's what he does. He takes you apart this way. Slow and calculating. But incredibly effective. You do uh, sometimes marvel at his courage. I mean, obviously. He's not only a great wrestler, but he does possess a great deal of grit. And obviously, resolution. Well, you clearly saw that. He's intent on really destroying, and he's doing a good job of that right now. He rarely pays any attention to the referee as it is. <laughs> he doesn't speak the same language as referees, that's for sure. Referee. 
Yes, I'm to some extent. Good time trying to keep things under control. A referee here has his hands full in this encounter. Both the involved in illegal tactics so far. Danny Davis getting a little fed up with this right now, trying to keep some sort of order. How difficult that is. You know, one thing these men have in common, both of them, is that as youngsters they played rugby. Really? Yes. Well, Lordship, I have to say that that is uh, one great sport. It is. I know that you've all taken a few games of rugby. People find that hard to believe, but I kind of stayed out of the end there and uh, waited until they passed me the ball and I would run in and touch it down. Frank, you're a little modest. I know that you campaigned in Great Britain and in Europe as a rugby man, one of the 15. Well, we've got two men battling it out right now. That's a devastating presser, is he not? Certainly is. He certainly has his wits about him at all times. And now you're seeing superb wrestling, and it's very, very best here by two complete masters. And look at this, bang, 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 it's like the sock exchange. <laughs> or a boxing dance. Well, the action now is really fast and furious. Both climbing into tough gear. And I'm afraid that the referee is not equal, equal to that particular speed. He's just by himself, one man in the ring. Really not enough. Good hold of the reins at this point in this encounter. Seems rather delighted with what he's doing. Apparently he's accomplishing what he set out to do. Some great moves here. He's beginning to establish himself in this belt. He's beginning to dominate. And once he does this, he's a tremendously good front runner. What a good situation our Coliseum cameraman had just said right in the corner. Would love to get another look at that. John, you're so right. When you said that just now, I was trying to think the last time I saw, and I can't remember ever, ever seeing this happen to him before. So this game plan seems to be working. And those are good tactics indeed. He certainly knows how to pull things out of the bag. A very uncouth fellow, but a great wrestler. Uh, his language. Well, wait a minute, Lord yeah. Alfred Hayes. I'm going to tell you right, that right now. I know that the, there's going to acquire a copy of this exciting tape. You will listen to every moment. You just want to hear what you just said. Well, that's what the, I'm going to give you the opportunity to retract that statement. I don't he said that. he was uncouth. Yes, he is uncouth. I don't want that. He, he rather takes a pride in the way he can handle uh, gutter language. <laughs> I'm telling you, he rather likes that. Sometimes the things he says, well, you couldn't possibly say them on television or on the air anywhere. Even so, it doesn't detract from what he does inside the ring. He is a superb wrestler, and in itself, showing all that tenacity and resolve is a superb effort. Well, I would agree with that point, but considering what Alfred Hayes is... How formal you are and how much you believe in manners. Well, it was a kind the of point a... I was trying to get across, Lord Alfred Hayes. That's a nice move. Yeah, certainly give him attitude adjustment. A few men can combat that move. How true. Sean, the, the heaviness of that blow of crispness of its delivery, I don't care who you are, that was bound to really hurt you. I don't think too many individuals could have taken such a blow, but of course if you were suffered a few broken noses in the There's a lot of sinew in the nose and it does tend to be a very flexible, especially if you've had it broken once or twice, and that can happen with close contact matches. No, I broke my nose once. Oh, gosh. It was, uh, I, was, I, was in, I was involved in a, you know, a rather intense squash game. Uh, yes, it was kind of nailed by a uh, but obviously you had the best uh, sound to put your nose back oh, straight, sir. And he can see it. And it makes me awfully jealous, John, because you keep getting the nicest goals where I seem to get those, well, not so nice as the majors. I think you put that very nicely. Have <laughs> you ever heard the term, uh, he has a little mileage, he's not on highway? I've never heard that. Is that a reference to a car? <laughs> Oh, you're 
this case, I was going to be the first. So what a good man. I got you, man. In a jocular mood, you are. <laughs> John, wasn't that a touching moment you and I observed in England a couple of months ago in Sheffield oh, yes. Arena? Uh, I don't think it's uh, too difficult to remember, Your Lordship. Lord Alfred Hayes, you have been in arenas all over the world where Hulk Hogan has come out and the crowd just goes insane. Yes, they do indeed. Well, I think we experience the same feeling at Sheffield Arena. I have to look up around the arena. Not one person moved from their seats. They didn't look for the exits. They sat there, stood up, cheering. It really was a moving moment. Yes, it was a number of moments, I should say. You spent some time in a little town. Yes, I did. In fact, in a very nice little town tucked into the dales of Wiltshire. Action, death, this is really a fantastic contest. This match has been like flipping a coin from side to side. And it's got on back and forth. You're right, Sean, it has turned things and a pendulum has swung again. And as you said before, this match has been backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards from that opening bell. A lot of quickness in this battle, Lord Albert Hayes. Did you expect a pace like this? I didn't, to tell the truth. Mixing up his attack. Good stuff. Great tenacity being shown here. Very, very efficient wrestler. He knows exactly how to position himself inside the ring. Geographically is always correct with his moves. And that is what causes one or enables one to bring off a victory. He really is a superb wrestler, so graceful, so artistic, and to watch him in action is a pleasure indeed. A very hardy veteran of the ring. One, he knows some two, very, very good two, little moves two. that can really disarm you, but he's not having all his own way here. Good the example run. there, Lord Alfred Hayes. Yes, that's going to beat him in that game. Maybe he knows something that we're not privy to, but that is always the hallmark of a great wrestler, which certainly is. Yes, as a matter of fact, Sean, he's just prolonging this because he's beginning to enjoy himself in the ring. He's doing what he does best, running in front. He's a, a great front runner as far as wrestling moves are concerned and when he has a man in trouble like this. Virtually no chance at all. I have to think now seriously, leaving my shoulders down for a count of three and trying to get out of this the honorable way. Uh, he who lives and runs away lives to fight another day. Shouldn't have hesitated, Alfred. Oh, he wasted some time there. And now he's flirting with a disqualification. He's coming awfully close indeed. And that has turned the referee's attention away from him. Laxadaisical could not do that. When you're in the ring, he is enjoying himself at this point. There's no need to hurry things up. You better go for the kill when you have the opportunity. Absolutely right. You can't take those sort of risks. Very clear message. That's going to be pushed around. He does everything so well. I don't like to see him take chances like that, though. Well, we will see if it helps him out of this encounter. Probably the drive is there. He refuses to be intimidated. Some vintage wrestling here by both men. Just absolutely superb. Being displayed by both of them. He's got the tables in his favor momentarily at the moment, but keeps coming back at him. So persistent, so persevering. His arsenal, his armory is so good in these circumstances. And in such perfect physical condition. Listen to this crowd, Alfred. Well, I can hardly hear myself here. They're making so much noise.